I'm proper excited to see how this bike does on a mixed ride in the moors and forests. My name's Guy Kesteven. I've been a professional mountain bike and kit tester for over 27 years. Today, this is my exclusive live ride review on Specialized brand new Chisel FS. Affordable alloy, epic shaped XC down country bargain. So their specialized headline is that it uses same geo and kinematic as the new Epic 8 cross country bike. Actually it kind of splits the difference between that new bike and the outgoing Epic Evo. So travel, 120 mil at the front and then 110 at the rear and geometry sits literally halfway between the two so reach on this large 470 mil whereas on the epic 480 and on the epic evo the old one it's 460 that puts it right in the kind of XC sweet spot for me. Head angle, 66.5. And then seat angle, that does get a boost up from the old Epic Evo. With a nice far forward, 75.5. And for an alloy frame, this chisel is extremely light. 2720 claimed, and that's a lot lighter than both spark and top fuel in alloy. And in the same way that Specialized have pitched the travel and the geometry between Epic Evo and New Epic, they've also pitched the kinematic, the suspension geometry in the same way. So you're running a little bit less anti-squat than the new Epic but a little more than the old Epic Evo. And the traction is absolutely outstanding. And this bike, <laughs> thanks Jay. And this bike comes in two spec levels. Two and a half grand comp, and then this basic chisel. And the first bikes into the UK will be Shimano spec, and then they're gonna be replaced by these SRAM based models. But on whether, whatever the stop and go spec, the entry level model will have an exfusion shock at the rear rather than a rock shock one. And to be honest, that's where budget suspension bikes nearly always fall down, is in the quality of the rear shock. But I have to say, Considering there's only 110 mil of strength here, in terms of travel, this actually feels impressively capable and controlled. It's not the most smoothest and subtle stroke in that little Exfusion Pro can, but certainly isn't slowing the bike down. And these steel legged Recon Silver Forks up front. Doing a pretty good job as well. One thing that's really impressive, I noticed when I was building it up, is the fact that you actually get... However, the other thing I noticed on setup is that while both of them have compression and rebound damping, it is super sensitive. You only need to move that little flag in the fork a micron to really choke the fork down in terms of rebound. And it's the same with the rear shock as well. And in terms of the rest of the componentry, it is about as basic as you can get from SRAM. You, you've got an NX rear mech, but the rest of the kit, including chain and cassette, is SX. So you're still getting Eagle, but you're getting it in a simplest, kind of clunkiest format. But you know, it still changes when you press the buttons and you're getting, you're getting a 1150 gear range. So that's plenty of ratios to winch you up 
most times and you're still getting that really secure SRAM teeth profile no worries about a drop chain on this although the SX chain set is running on a power spline bottom bracket so it's not an external bottom bracket it's an internal one which is I like that rear cassette a heavy chunk of metal that's an obvious upgrade piece if you start to fall in love with this chisel in the way I have because regardless of the fact the brakes are a squeaky and not particularly powerful these level T's again you know they're consistent but not outstanding in the way they perform this frame feels absolutely fantastic genuinely wouldn't know you were on a budget bike at all in terms of the way it's tracking the trail and hopping and flowing around really really impressive under power too like a lot of bikes in that category that 66.5 degree head angle means it's pretty confident when it comes to playing all the silly stuff but where this rear bike really shines is pop and play techie climbing like that and it feels like a real thoroughbred super responsive through the pedals but also through the handling properly impressed me this chisel because you know I was a super fan of the hardtail so it's brilliant this is full suspension bike it's giving me exactly those same amazing performance for money vibes and another place where you really gain in terms of speed and responsiveness is the tyre spec on this bike it's pretty much the same as you get on the Epic so ground control all rounder on the front and then the fast track reasonably grippy but very quick XC tyre on the back and they come in lightweight control carcass so yeah, properly light tyres only thing I'd say is they do come in T5 which is the harder compound and specialised off-road tyres so you are going to slip around on the roots and wet rocks more but the rolling speed on these wheels absolutely <laughs> remarkable to say these are proper quick and that informs the whole feel of this bike it really does feel like an economy epic in terms of the way it makes you really want to push on climbs and cross country sections proper high energy bike is this chisel I'm uh, tubed rather than tubeless as standard so unless you get the shock to set it up tubeless uh, do take care because these are pretty thin wall tyres these controls uh, and uh, especially if you sending it on a bit in the rocks and pointy logs uh, you need to take a bit more care because they are an XC tyre on an XC bike which is clearly what I haven't done so thanks for Zion being there to fix it and the reason why this alloy frame and the chisel and specialised alloy road bikes feel so good is what they call smart weld technology it's patenting by them comes from their designer Chris Delucio it's been around for over a decade now but what it is is rather than just a standard open-ended tube it uses almost closed ends so all the tubes are 3d formed so you've got a real stiffness and integrity to the tube like the way you roll over the ends of a drinks can to stop it crushing in and that means they can make the tube walls themselves far thinner 
is a properly paper thin pieces of alloy. And then on this bike, which is a first, the whole seat tube is created in one piece. All right, from the top, all the pivot points are right down to the big knuckle at the bottom that the bottom bracket sits in. They're all formed on one piece of really cleverly hydroformed aluminium. And that works as a proper keystone to hold the rest of the bike together. So you've got this super agile, lively, lightweight frame, but with real strength and stiffness at its core. Because I definitely don't feel like I'm losing any wattage through the pedals. Well, no more than I normally would through a spline rather than through axle crank. And the steering is impressively accurate too. Whee! <laughs> and the good news is, as well as the two complete bikes, you can also get this Chisel FS frame as a standalone frame set with the RockShox shock. Although that costs 1,450 quid, so it's only 550 quid less than this full bike, which kind of puts the, you know, basic but serviceable sort of performance I'm getting here into perspective. <laughs> Although I'm definitely on the edge of what these level brakes and Whoa, hello, <laughs> T5 tyres are happy coping with following Ryan down there. And plus, putting it in perspective, I mean, Ryan's on Canyon ahead, and that's, you know, obviously, way, oh, I thought I was going to win a moral victory there. <laughs> no, turns out T5 XC tyres can't trump DHRs after all. Don't think there's anyone. Surprised with that? Whoa! <laughs> Surprised I got through that upright though. Where was I? And of course you've got to factor into the price on this bike is that you're getting all that specialised dealer servicing, a lifetime warranty and local shop backup that you won't get with an online bike or a superstore bike. And Specialized just have a great history of making these really good affordable bikes. Pitch, big hit, chisel. Just a really, really good bikes for the money. And this chisel FS absolutely goes into that category. And what's really important with this bike, like the chisel, is it puts that affordable performance into the XC arena because most budget bikes very much in the kind of longer travel trail <coughs> genre so while you know you look at Boardman or Sonda Cathon that kind of brand and there are bikes where you could get better kit in a top trunk sense. Generally a lot heavier and pedal accordingly. Whereas this, this is properly keen to climb. You can say that 75.5 degree seat angle really helping. Give that fast track some extra balance and bite on the back. But even now I've overpressured that rear tyre so I didn't ping it again. Still impressively supple 
through that flex day rear end and 14.7 kilos complete weight with that pedal so this large is going to be a lot lighter than a lot of carbon bikes for more cash and a lot of them I'm going to feel more dead less responsive and just and less joyful in fact I'm using joyful while chatting away on a climb like this it tells you something about me it also tells you something about this chisel so there we go first ride impressions on this new specialized chisel fs done and i have to say not only has that frame lived up to everything i wanted it to be because you know like i say something of a chisel mega fan i really didn't want them to kind of spoil the name the legend let it down with something that just felt like another cheap alloy bike but this has exactly that same joyful responsible flowing addicted to speed and acceleration vibe as the hardtail does even in its most basic spec and i have to say considering you know if you watch the i did an unboxing on this bike thankfully before it got absolutely filthy thanks june in england uh so you can see all the detail up close and to be fair i was pretty skeptical about how that shock and how the fork and transmission and brakes would measure up i think i pretty much recommended you went for the one up uh, automatically and didn't really bother with this one but riding it today has really really put me in place on this xfusion have done a really good job with the shock feels absolutely fine it does use a lot of its travel it's pretty eager to go through the travel so maybe get some volume spaces in there but and like i say the rebound damper on both the fork and the shock you need very very careful tweaking uh, if you're not going to find yourself really really stuck down with just one extra click but it's a specialized tune on that rear shock and together with that you know really evolved sort of goldilocks kinematic between the epic evo of old and the new epic this bike not only grips really really well but it also responds to power really, really well. I mean, it just doesn't feel like a 2000 pound alloy bike. It feels like a proper pedigree performance machine, which is awesome. I mean, for this price, and it's such an applicable category as well, because it's not just your racers in skin suits all shaved up. To be honest, they're probably still gonna go for a carbon bike, especially as this, you can still get really good deals on the old Epic and Epic Evo uh, on the day that this comes out. I mean, not all sizes, not all colors, but you look on the Spencer Size Concept Store, there's still some absolute bargains going with that, you know, 1700 gram frame uh, from the previous gen. But I think where this really appeals is the people who don't need a ton of travel, but just want efficiency, comfort, and speed for big days out, whether that's for, you know, classic old XC marathon missions, or bike packing, or you know, routes like Trails Erie or King Alfred's Way, which I've done, where there's some chunky old mountain biking in there, and uh, with lifetime warranty on the bearings, lifetime warranty on the frame as well, and the Rockshox fork is a super durable unit. Yeah, it's got steel stanchions, which makes it heavy, but you know, that means it will keep on going and going and going. And I have to say, the rest of the contact points. I mean, contact points a real plus to be honest that's a lot of what gives it that real instant kind of quality connection those grips that power saddle real highlights and of course for distance you've got bottle cage bosses two heights there and on the seat tube as well so you can double bottle it if you're a thirsty rider or out for a long day and like i said oh, sorry i should i'll i'll just go through some of the details i haven't really had a chance you've got a udh hanger at the rear you've got a proper uh, chain slap guard there and you've got this little mud guard on the back of the seat tube there that keeps it all clean tire clearance isn't massive you're probably going to get a 2.4 in there maximum uh but that's probably the biggest you want to want to run on this kind of bike anyway and then you've got neat little cable insert ports there 
But you can just see this tube work somewhere under this filth is just really, really neat flowing setup. But like I say, there is a very nicely lit uh, with minute influencer ring light, uh, proper tech and feature talk through on this bike. So I'll clip that on at the end of this video and you can luxuriate in the details on there. But for now, a uh, massive thanks to Specialized for sending me the bike to test. Literally came straight from the warehouse when it landed and straight up to me in Yorkshire, like a, like three days before they were out. Uh, so I'm pretty sure this will be an exclusive on the bike. So massive thanks to Georgia and the crew at Specialized for making that happen. Uh, the internet didn't sponsor this video. I'm wearing Specialized kit all through just in case uh, they want to use it themselves. But otherwise, uh, there's no money from them coming to me on this uh, project. Uh, but massive thanks to the uh, industry guys who do support me. They'll be listed at the end, because without their help, I wouldn't be able to spend this much time talking to you guys about bikes on a GoPro. And as always, huge thanks to my Patreon subscribers who pledge on a monthly basis, and they really, really help with the upkeep and sustainability of the channel. So if you really like what I'm doing here on GuideCast TV, then please consider joining me. And again, there'll be a link to that at the end. But if you can't quite stretch to that, then I'd rather you saved your pennies and got yourself a superb bike like this. But if you can subscribe, click for notifications and give this a thumbs up like, that costs nothing. And the most valuable thing you can do of all is tell your mates about the channel, because that is by far the best way of making it grow long term. But for now, I've been Guy Kesteven on Guy Kest TV, talking about the awesome alloy framed economy epic that is the new. Specialized chisel, full suspension.